the organism, but they don't have any clinical symptoms. Though, right? they don't have so, what like, like, could you call it? Like, maybe like kind of like a, like a host? Well, yeah, there will be a host. I think it's alive in them. But no, I'm saying for vector. Vector is going to be a vector. That, vector is reserved for arthropods that are able to spread disease. Mosquitoes, ticks, um, flies that bite the TT fly, the black fly, um, sand flies, any of those things that can spread these diseases are vectors. Okay. All right, let's finish up this because I didn't realize where I thought. An organism combined, uh, this is going to be rickettsia and chlamydia. Organisms, I don't like the way the book does this, but it's your book right now, so we're stuck with it, all right? Organisms that combine the characteristics of viral and bacterial agents to produce disease in humans. The only reason they like viruses is they are obligate what? Intracellular pathogens. That's the only reason they're small, they're tiny, they have to live inside the cells because they don't have some of the components to reproduce. But they're by no means a virus. They're bacteria that have just evolved to become what? Like viruses. Intracellular pathogens. They just learn that they can just live inside of a person. They produce, some have cell walls, some don't. Produce a rigid peptidoglycan cell wall. Reproduce asexually by cellular division. They still reproduce on their own. And they contain RNA and DNA similar to bacteria. So the problem is the way the question might come up with your book is it's calling them what? So like this hybrid, right? They're not. Okay? They're bacteria that just are slightly evolved, slightly different. Require a host cell nutrients for energy, ATP, cytochromes, things like that. But they're not viruses, okay? I don't like this. Toxelia is another one. Yeah, we're doing one of These are the two big ones right here. And one of them is called Rocky Mountain butt. Spotted you know, fever. Spotted fever, and the other one is called chlamydia. Chlamydia, which is the what? Most common? STD. STI. STI. All right. Oh, that's I'm so sorry, don't fall. Let's get to this. Fungi, it's a localized fungal infection like athlete's foot, it's called a dermatophyte. So they cannot grow at what? Body temperature. It's the outside of your skin at 37 degrees centigrade. No, right? That's why you put the thermometer in your mouth, right? Mm -hmm. These are dermatophytes. If it's a systemic, it's going to be a deep, widespread body infection. These guys can grow at 37, okay? Histoplasmosis, coccidiomycosis, why is this a problem? Because that one's supposed to show. Isn't yeah, it because, it, it yeah. wasn't it big, oh, never mind. No, there is this one. That's yeah. the one I want to show in a second. Funguses are hard to treat, why? Because they're close to. Because we're closely related to fungi. Yeah. So it's harder to find targets for the drugs that are toxic. But. Have you heard of fungal resistance like you've heard of bacterial resistance? I've never heard. Uh-oh. Thank you, we'll uh -oh. stop right here. So this is a new candidiasis aris pathogen since 2009, but it's already what I love what they're trying to keep in there. It's exactly the medical one. Mm -hmm. We got hip science right here. This deadly yeast is resistant to antibiotics. It's more infectious than Ebola. What? And it's popping up everywhere. Only a handful of antifungal drugs, none of which can treat this organism. But it first appeared in an ear infection. 60% of those infected worldwide is what? Died? What? And it's resistant to what? Oh. Every antifungal. I've never heard of it. They've <laughs> been around for a while. Until now. <laughs> but they're far, starting to find out that some of these funguses are becoming resistant to the anti too. So. Crazy. So you guys want to go on medicine still? Nope. Never mind. Bring a little friend with you. You can't do it. Oh, All right, guys. So let's have a test over the first two chapters. What did I say? Monday, you said. Monday? I said Monday? Yes. <laughs> let's do it Wednesday. Oh, yay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it Wednesday. And I'll put the study guide up tonight. Yay. Yeah.